Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Angela. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. Before I get started, I want to go over my disclaimers. If you are in immediate danger, please call 911 or you can reach out to the domestic hotline at 800-799-SAFE, 800-799-7233. And for mental health resources, reach out to NAMI at 800-950-NAMI. 800-950-6264 and you can also text at 741741. With that being said, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. So today I want to talk to you about the narcissistic rage. Um, what triggers it? Can it be controlled? Um, or can it be dangerous? So what triggers the rage is when you disagree with the narcissist, when you challenge what they're saying, and it can be something very small. If you have a dis discussion with them about something and you disagree and you challenge it, you t share your point of view, they can fly off the handle and just go into a narcissistic rage, screaming, yelling, um, cursing at you, <clears throat> hanging up the phone, or um, just really laying into you, going off on you, trying to make you feel bad about yourself, um, calling you names, uh, the whole nine yards. So, you know, um, and that can be, like I said, over something that was very simple that you disagreed or you challenged them about. So can it be control? No, you can't control their rage. You have to let it, um, do what it's going to do, die down. Um, maybe a few days later you can call and check on them, but uh, sometimes it can get to the point where they just don't want to have anything else to do with you because you have uh, challenged them too many times. And um, being in a relationship, if you have experienced this with your partner and you know that every time you uh, disagree or you say something about the smallest things, um, they blow up on you and uh, it's almost like um, they become a different person. Those are signs that you need to watch. You need to stay clear of this person and I suggest if you're in a relationship, get out of it before it's too late. Um, can they become dangerous? Yes. You know, it may not happen right when the argument uh, occurs, when they blow up on you, when they're um, arguing with you. They um, may just uh, use their words but they hold resentment and grudges so they're looking to get you back that's what a narcissist do they're going to pay you back so when you least expecting it something could occur to where it can be dangerous to you so be careful when you're around people who show this behavior because you have to think if you disagree about something that's uh meaningless and they blow up about that what about if there's something that's really important and you have a disagreement or you have a different thought about how you should do something, you know, raising kids and they really uh, go off into the deep end and they take the kids or they do whatever. So these people, you can't uh, put your finger on them. You can't tell what they're going to do next because um, they have no control over themselves. You know, and that's the part that I think they hate about themselves. They see how they blow up. They see how um, they act around people. They see how they put people down. They see how they make themselves more important. And it's hard uh, for them to control emotions. You know, like I said the other day, the only thing that can help them is going to God or, you know, the Most High, whoever you believe in, whoever they believe in, go and ask for deliverance. You know, ask for guidance, ask how to uh, control this rage, how to put it in place. Because we all become angry, but you shouldn't be enraged over something that's so small and meaningless. So if you know someone that's going through this, if you're going through this, um, please watch this video, share it. And try to uh, help someone as much as you can without putting yourself in harm's way. Um, and my best suggestion to you, if you're in a relationship with a narcissist, um, walk away from it because they're not going to get any better until they do the healing. And sometimes, you know, uh, putting your life in the hands of a narcissist 
uh, can get you all messed up. So you don't want to be in that place where you are walking on eggshells. Uh, people are looking at you like you're crazy. You know, the gaslighting faces of a narcissist, how they make people uh, believe things about you that's not true so you don't want to be stuck in that type of a relationship so if you are in it i suggest that you get out as quickly as possible um you can't heal this person that's not your call and i've said that so many times before uh, the best thing you can do is protect yourself heal yourself if you have children um by this person make sure that you uh, protect them <clears throat> and if so, get a third party involved so they can um, be there for the children and for the visit. You know, I know sometimes when you have um, a third party, it has to be under extreme uh, situations. So I don't know exactly what you can do to have somebody sit in or uh, maybe visit. But hopefully the person is... Um, trying to work with you when it comes to the kids if not like i've always said protect your children your children by any means necessary and don't allow uh, your children to suffer the abuse that you went through like like i said again if you know someone that's going through this share this video watch it as much times as you need to and uh remember at the end of the day we're here to help one another if you um just feel like you can't uh, do it all alone. Go to God, go to spirit, ask for guidance and directions. And I will see you again tomorrow. Thank you for watching.